Hey guys, Dr. Darok here, and welcome back to Test Series! In this series, I'm playing a, a mod pack called Test Pack Please Ignore, uh, aka the Reddit Mod Pack. And um, in our last episode, we actually crossed this off the list. Uh, although there's still some resource gathering to be done underground, I, I completed the basic mine layout, and uh, if you want to see that, you can check out the last video. Anyway, this time I'm going to go for farming slash renewable food sources. And the most important thing that I want to take care of today is the Magical Crops mod. Now, I've actually done a uh, full mod review of this um, mod before, the Magical Crops mod. Um, I, I really like this mod because you can grow your own resources out of um, pretty much whatever. And uh, the starting cost is pretty small too. All you need is a diamond and some of this essence dust which you can find while you're digging around. Um, now, in order to get started with this, well really the first thing I want to do is make sure I've got a place to plant my crops, uh, which I don't yet. So, I will be back in just a minute guys, see you then. And that's more like it. Alright. Well, we're going to get started. Well, I'm going to plant some things uh, here that you can get without um, actually starting into the skill tree for magical crops. So I'm going to plant all these. Uh, and I just found these while I was um, breaking grass to put this down here. So basically just any tall grass you can find this stuff in. I'm just going to pop these in uh, the smaller one right here. Sweet corn and chili, blackberry, grape. They're all relatively uh, decent, you know, mid-grade foods. So they're all right, and I'm going to plant them. Um, the next thing I want to do is I want to create myself one of these, a weak infusion stone. And you do that like this with either a diamond or an emerald and eight essence dust. So I'm just gonna put my diamond right here and, ooh, diamond nuggets. And take out a weak infusion stone. Now with the weak infusion stone, uh, you can basically turn essence dust into weak essence, which will allow you to create um, the first tier of seeds. Uh, let me show you how that works. So I'm gonna grab this and we're just going to take and make pretty much all of this into weak essence, aren't we? Because there's no real reason to have the essence dust, I don't think. Um, it's only used for making the weak infusion stone in the first place. You can also infuse it into coal to make the coal last twice as long for two. But you can also do that with everything else. Also, yeah, the weak infusion stone, as you can tell, you put it in the crafting grid and use it in crafting recipes, but it is infinite, and it does not run out. There's no durability or anything, so um, thank goodness for that. Now, the next thing I want to do is take my regular Minecraft seeds right here in the middle, and uh, let's double check this recipe here. I want to make coal seeds, so I'm going to put my weak essence around it like this. Boom, and we're gonna put coal in the corners. So I'm gonna make, ah, uh, there we go. Nice, that's a whole bunch of coal seeds. That's very good. And um, we're just gonna take these out and put them, plant them over here. Ha. So I'm gonna put these down, see a sec. All right, so I didn't make quite enough seeds to actually fill up the whole uh, plot here. But that's okay. Okay, so we're in the basement, and uh, I'm down to the wire on my hunger bar here. Uh, but I don't want to get the hunger effect from rotten flesh. So I'm actually just going to cook this rotten flesh. Now, this is, this is a feature that's added by uh, the Magical Crops mod. Um, you can do the same thing with red mushrooms or brown mushrooms. You can dry those out in a furnace to make dried red mushroom, dried brown mushroom. Uh, you can boil eggs as well, and they all heal one and a half hunger. So take some, um, you know, food items that should be food items and aren't, and, uh, you know, let you turn them into food items. So, yeah, I think that's kind of useful. Now, I'm still waiting on my crops to grow, 
So in the meantime, I'm going to go and, um, well, we're going to run over here, actually. I've got this, there's this burning man standing over here in the field across the way. And um, we're actually going to, we're going to cut this guy down real quick so I can get some free wheat without having to wait for seeds to grow. Uh, yeah. Just like that. Okay, cool. And I'm going to go and um, I'm going to build a little pen over here. And I'm going to lure some cows uh, over and start breeding those guys too. Because I'm just, I'm definitely in need of food. So I'm going to do that. And I'll see you guys in just a moment. Okay, come on, Mr. Cow. All right, yeah. Cows only. Cows only. Cows only, please. Please, cows only. Cows only. No. No sheep. Cows only. Oh, dear lord. Okay. Um. Right. Oh, good lord. Gravy. Gracious. Gosh. No! Ah! Fail. I hate cows. Whoa, that blueberry bush is looking pretty wicked over there. Yeah, come on, cows. Come on, cows. Come on. Come on, cow. Come on. Cows only. All right, come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Yeah, yeah, come on. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're almost there. Yeah, yeah, come on. Huh. Huh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Cows have been mated. Cows bred. All right, good deal. So how's my coal plants looking? All right, these are at uh, various percentage. Oh, one of them is fully grown. Well, that's good. I'm going to wait, actually, though, until the whole field is grown. Oh, hello. What's your name? Is it Joe? Goodbye, Joe. Thanks for coming by. Stop by again and don't forget to subscribe. Give me that brain, Joe. Oh, holy shit, I'm almost dead. Crap. Um Okay. Well, then, let's eat some shit here. Wow. Damn. Make some bread. All right. <clears throat> and now we wait. All right, guys. Well, it's about time that we go ahead and harvest these. So let's. Uh, there's still a couple that need to grow a little bit more. That's okay. I'll, I'll just. Um, I'll just calculate around those, as if they were never a factor to begin with. Yes. Yes. So you'll see that I'm getting a couple of different resources here from this. Um, the main one is coal essence. All right. Oh, whoops. Okay. So I got 57 coal seeds back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah. Okay. So... Yeah, I got one coal seed back for every plant that I destroyed, so they'll could I can I can just replant them and uh, they'll continue producing. But I wanted a nice large initial sample size, so yeah. Hey, look, there's another one done. Boom, give me that. Okay, so now I now I harvested 59 of these coal plants, and we'll do the math in just a moment. Okay, so I wound up getting 57 coal essence and nine nature essence, okay? And um, 
more or less uh for every fully mature crop you get you will get one essence and one seed and there's also a one out of six or so chance that you're gonna wind up with the nature essence which is extremely useful because it's the only way to make uh, this magic fertilizer which is the only way to fertilize these particular crops so what is it that we can do with our newfound resources well let's find out if I just come in here and look at uses for coal essence first of all the first thing I can do is make the next level of infusion stone out of uh, any eight of um, the essences that are grown from a seed from this current tier uh, that'll unlock the next fusion stone which unlocks the next tier of everything else in it as well um, <clears throat> now I can take eight coal essence and make three coal out of it and that's more or less it use it to make coal use it to uh, create the next fusion stone so that's what I'm gonna do now we're gonna just make my next level of infusion stone here and as you'll see, um, as you may have expected, I did keep the original weak infusion stone. So now I'm going to want to take uh, this regular infusion stone here. And let's just uh, make, let's see, we're going to need at least four of these, right? Well, let's just go ahead and do all of them. Forget it. There we go. Okay, forget about it. All right, so we're going to be able to make at least two more seeds from the next tier as well. Uh, no, I wanted to go with this. Okay. Let's see, redstone, glowstone, and obsidian. Those are the important ones from the next tier. Uh, but I don't actually have glowstone or obsidian yet. Hmm. So I guess what I'm going to have to do is go obtain those things. So yeah, what do you guys think? Have you tried the Magical Crops mod? It's, um, personally, it's actually one of my favorite mods, and uh, I'm sure that we're just gonna continue to expand this from here on out, and uh, this will not be the last we see of uh, the various parts of the Magical Crops mod. Absolutely not. So, thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video and you want to see more like it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, leave a like there. It lets me know that you're interested in watching this type of content. Um, I know that... Oh, and big important thing. Um, uh, it's really, really, really important to me. Okay, really important to me that I actually reach an audience. And one of the one of the things that I find difficult with these Minecraft videos is actually reaching out to an audience. So, you guys out there still around at the end of this video, you are the most devoted, I'm sure, out of all of my subscribers. And what I need for you to do right now is I need you to click that share button below the video and I need you to share this video on your social networking sites, your Facebook, your Twitter, your Google Plus. I need you guys to try and get your friends to watch this. You liked it, right? So share the fun. All right, guys, I'll catch you next time.